Good evening, folks. Brother Cross here, BJC Outdoor. Uh, just got, got done washing my boat, and I had a few people to ask me questions about it, and uh, I thought, well, heck, it'd be a good time to show it off while it's clean, because it ain't gonna stay this way long. Uh, all right, so here we go. Uh, got a uh, 1872 Sea Art. Uh, it's a Super John, 28 inches deep, uh, 72 inches in the floor. It's uh, 18 foot long. You got a 96 inch beam on it. Uh, I think the floor in the in the bottom there is a uh, six foot by 11 foot. Uh, it's a big old big old boat, so perfectly suitable for what I do. Uh, you got a 90 horse tiller handle, Suzuki four stroke on the back. Uh, plenty of power to push this boat. Uh, over there on my my units, I've got a Elite uh, Elite Seven Lawrence on the right, and that's only for GPS. I don't use it for anything else. And then right beside it, on the left, is my Lawrence uh, HDS9, and I use it for down engine and side engine. Uh, let's see, you got a Ultrex 24 volt uh, Ultrex on it. Uh, it's a awesome trolling motor, man. I, I can't believe I went as long as I did without one. Uh, I don't got a little older and throwing out anchors just it's for the birds. Although I still do throw one out uh, on my night trips or if I'm fishing up around the dams on, uh, in the current. But uh, then right here I got my two batteries for my trolling motor, uh, and then I got a single battery here for my uh, my bait tank, uh, my night lights, uh, all my pumps to run my bait tank, pump water in, pump water out. Uh, pretty much everything has got one plug that plugs into to my battery and all my equipment's got the same plug on it. I uh, got the bank charger here for my trolling motor uh, and then I got a small bank on top of that battery there that I plug in. Then I've also got a bank back here in the back uh, in the counter right there uh, that charges my battery on my my cranking battery which it charges itself but I do run my lights off my uh, navigation lights off of it uh but anyway it's a it's a just a simple setup a uh, pretty good sized boat you know but it's suitable for what I need you know bass boat stuff like that just want uh just not my thing I mean you, you can't you can catfish out of a bass boat but you'll run the carpet in them for sure I fish for all different species you know Trophy catfish, uh, trophy smallmouth, largemouth, uh, bluegill, and shellcracker, crappie. Uh, pretty much, if it's fresh water, I may try to catch it. So, uh, this boat, you know, perfectly fine to do any of those things. Uh, I went with the Driftmaster pole holders. Uh, I was going wanted to go with the uh, monster rod holders, but they was a little too steep for me at that time. In 2020, when I bought these, I kind of uh, trying to on a budget to getting this thing built and uh, but I'm hoping to get me some monster rod holders here soon uh, this boat was uh, just a naked boat when I bought it uh, bought it new from Sea Art uh, they sent it out just a shell on a trailer with a motor on the, on the back and uh, I had to get the batteries the gas tank it didn't have nothing I had to run all the wires wires for my lights all the wires for the trolling motor uh, depth finder uh, navigation lights and I had to do all that uh, I've got two bases in it I've got a base right there for you know seat up front if I'm bass fishing or crappie fishing or whatever and then I got one back there in the back got a little butt seat on it and that's what I use to drive the motor which I don't sit back there very long I just go to where I'm going and then I'm fishing uh, the seats I use to go in the floor if I by myself or cat fishing or got company I got these little seats I think they're called spider spider legs or something like that I bought them uh, off of Amazon they're for, I think they're about 50 bucks a piece and I put a, a seat on it I got two of those so I can put I can put them anywhere in this boat but I won't move them around uh, I don't like anything stationary because uh, I will have a bait tank in here at some point and you know I just want to be able to move everything around uh, and I have a I put this vinyl checker plate floor down everything's wet y'all have to look over it but I just washed it but anyway uh, this takes takes away some of the heat that aluminum con conducts. I mean, you know, aluminum is very hot. And if you put your hand on it or your knee down on it, man, it'll burn a blister on you. And I got the same thing back here in the back where I see it. And I do have this piece right here. I had it in here for a while, but I cut it a little bit wide. And I needed to trim it up around all these little 
braces and stuff a little I had to trim it up a little more so I just took it out uh, but I'm gonna put it back in here uh, here real soon I gotta take my batteries and everything back out to do it so uh, while I'm fishing you know probably probably be the transition between summer and fall uh, when I do it when it cools off a little bit uh, it's got a single axle trailer on it I mean no, nothing special on the trailer but anyway that's a that's my rig man uh, not nothing special uh, I love it don't wouldn't want anything else I've had bass boats and stuff like that but as far as the way I fish you know like I said I fish for everything so uh, I, it don't matter if I get slime all in the bottom of the boat and that's another thing about it it's very easy to clean uh, you know like I said when I get a big catfish in here he's flopping around or you know, I spill a box of worms in here, whatever, it ain't going, you know, it don't hurt my feelings. I just take a water hose, spray it out. But but anyway, uh, that's my rig, and I wanted to show y'all uh, what I fish out of. And, uh, hey, look here. If y'all already subscribed to my channel, hey, thank y'all very much. I really, really appreciate y'all. And uh, if you, you haven't subscribed, hey, join the team, man. Uh, we're fishing to do some big things here real soon. Uh, but I appreciate y'all watching, taking the time out of your day or your night, and checking out this little video. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed it, and uh, y'all try to stay cool and enjoy the rest of your evening, and God bless you.